Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys the automatic dialogue replacement inside of DaVinci Resolve 15. So this feature is over on the Fairlight tab of DaVinci Resolve. You can see it at the top, it'll say ADR for automatic dialogue replacement up at the top. And when you open up this panel, there are three tabs, list, record, and setup. So the idea here is that you want to set up dialogue lines to be recorded so that would include character speaking the dialogue line which you have to type manually and then you set start times and end times for that dialogue you go ahead and record it in the record tab and then you can pick from the takes that you've recorded you can also rate them so that whoever's editing the video can make final decisions about which audio clips are going to go into which areas of the video uh, basically and then over on the setup tab, you have a few options available for you. So, so from what I've seen so far, the important options to set are going to be record track, which is the track you're going to be recording your audio onto. If you have a guide track, that's referring to audio that was recorded in the original take, which you're trying to redo. So let's say that the original video audio was in track one, and then you wanted to let whoever's going to come record the audio know which track they're supposed to use as a reference. That's where you'd have a guide track. I don't actually need one here because I'm just recording post-production voiceovers. So I'm actually going to set that to none. And then record file name. It will be part of the final file name, but if you want to add something in there to let you know that those audio clips have to do with your voiceover, you can give it a name here like narration or voiceover. And then character setup. You can add new characters and these are just names to indicate who should be recording uh, the clip or what the character in the video is named so if you have a bunch of characters then you can start adding them in here and then once you're done with that you can go over to the list tab and on the list tab we can add in cues for each character to speak a line so this can be as long or as short as you want it to be if you pick a point in the timeline and you hit new cue it's going to be five seconds by default but if you want to set manual cues such as the start of one clip to the end of one clip what you can do is just come in here set an end point go to the end of a video clip and set an out point and when you hit new cue the time in time out and duration will match that video clip now if you have multiple characters you can assign a character to that clip so if i click on this character drop down you can choose from any character from the list and then you can start typing in the dialogue that that person or character should speak in that part of the video. So for instance, I could say, wow, ADR, otherwise known as automatic dialogue replacement, is a real cool feature of DaVinci Resolve 15. Mind the grammar there. And then uh, they're gonna have this dialogue. And now this dialogue just serves as a reference for the actual audio we go over to the record tab and we would hit this record button but before you do that you're going to want to queue up an audio track with a microphone so that you're actually recording some audio information so for instance here i added audio 3 as an audio track you can add a new audio tracks by right clicking and going add track generally stereo for two channel audio and then you can open up the mixer in the top right hand corner find the input for the audio track you want to record on so for instance a3 over here you can click on this button go to input and then you find your microphone and you choose audio outputs on the track input so for this case that would be audio 3 left channel and audio 3 right channel and you patch it in the bottom right hand corner so what this does is it links up uh, this USB audio device to audio 3 left and audio 3 right for recording. So it's matching the microphone to the output channel. Now what we need to do is enable that track for recording by hitting the record button right there. Now while you have the track recording, if you don't want it to come through your speakers, you are going to want to mute that track's outputs. One way you can do that is over in the top right hand corner, you can just mute all the audio output just by taking that speaker sign and adding the X there with a left click. So now we can come over here to where we have the cue controls. We can rehearse it where you're gonna play it one time without actually recording any information. Uh, you can play back previously recorded cues. You can stop playing the current cue. 
And you can also record cues, which is going to actually create the audio file and add it to the list down here. As well, you can choose keep playing and keep recording, which means after it hits the end of that cue, it'll keep going anyway. But generally speaking, I think you can just leave those off though. So let's go ahead and record one of these cues. So I'm gonna try to speak this dialogue line and then we'll take a couple takes and decide which one is the best option. So record here. Wow, ADR, otherwise known as Automatic Dialogue Replacement, is a really cool feature of DaVinci Resolve 15. Uh, now obviously, that line is not long enough to fill in this entire video clip, but you get the idea. You can see on the audio track down here that it is uh, recording the audio, which is going to be written to a file in our media pool that we can always swap out different versions of the file. But the cool thing is that when it gets to the end there, it's going to stop. So this is now one take of that cue. So now if we want, we can uncheck the record for that track and re-enable the audio and play back the cue. Wow, ADR, otherwise known as Automatic Dialogue Replacement, is a really cool feature of DaVinci Resolve 15. Uh, now obviously, okay, and if we decide that that take wasn't any good, we can just go ahead and hit record and take a new recording of that cue. We don't even need to change our position in the timeline because the cue has already been set. It will automatically go back to the start of the cue and record until the end. So let's do it one more time. Wow, ADR, otherwise known as automatic dialogue replacement, is a really cool feature of DaVinci Resolve 15. And here's where we see, once again, we probably would need to do multiple cues or change the dialogue for that specific cue so that it makes more sense in terms of matching up with our actual video clip. Um, but yeah, it's just something you kind of need to play around with and having multiple takes helps out a lot. So you can see when we take these different takes, it's going to label them partially with the uh, dialogue actually in that clip. And we can rate these uh, kind of so that whoever's gonna edit the clips knows which the best clips are for the final uh, and we can rate these clips so that whoever needs to do the editing can know uh, which the best takes are to help speed the process up a bit. So as for changing out your actual recorded cues, I think that the idea is that you're supposed to be able to just double click on the cue you want to use and then that would replace in the timeline. So if you're having that issue when you're in the beta, a workaround would be to just go to the uh, media pool where you'll have all of your recorded takes and you can just swap out the one you want uh, with the one in your actual timeline. So anyway, that's the gist of how automatic dialogue replacement works inside of DaVinci Resolve 15. So thanks for watching. I've been Chris and I'll see you guys in my future video content.